Um, and so that took you know a whole semester, and then the next semester would be you know planning out you know using Edin and Dante was sixteen at the time, finding the right uh, um, days to shoot them. But you know in New York, in New York State. You know, if you hire child actors, you only have eight days, eight hours of them. And then um, you have to hire a teacher on set that will take three, three hours away. So I had them shoot during their spring break. Mm -hmm. And that was for the, the short. For the short, right. yeah. Right. And then for the feature, I had actually moved out here. So we would PM cases back and forth. You know, like early morning, I was up at 4 a.m. And that's just 7 a.m. calls and, you know, late night calls. So one of the things that uh, I love about this movie is that, oh, I love many things about it, but is, is that you don't really get to see a lot of um, science fiction um, with all black, or all people of color cast, and a black female lead. Um, was that, were you interested, when you came up with the idea for this, had you always been interested in science fiction movies? Yeah, I grew up, um, both my favorite, my favorite films are, uh, Back to the Future, obviously, and uh, Jurassic Park. Um, I also grew up watching a lot of cartoons like Static Shock. Um, you know, that influenced my work, me as an artist. And I just, you know, I never see, I never see, uh, you know, black people in that space in science fiction before. Um, and I wanted to, you know, you know, be one of the directors that able to do that. Um, luckily, we have Brian Kugler, you know, Black Panther, so that helps, you know, greatly to get this film ready. Um, but, but yeah, I, would, I, would, I always wanted to um, do, you know, black people, I love black people. I do too. So, uh, I want to talk to your, um, to the actor that you have here. Um, she might look very familiar because she's had a, she had a very good 2019. Emmy, uh, Emmy nominated actress. Yes. Critics' uh, Choice nominated actress. Soon to be a Academy Award winning actress. Wait, yeah. <laughs> you better talk to her now because she's not going to talk to anybody else. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Um, Marsha, who also starred in When We See Us, a phenomenal Netflix show by Ava DuVernay and um, Luce. And on a movie by uh, Julia Onis, uh, if you have not seen, you should. It's wonderful. Um, Julius, Julius Onis. Oh, no. I said that right. Julius Onis. Um, so in a part like this, I've always sort of wondered. Um, being a Hollywood actor, sometimes you're called upon to to do a really big part um, of a character. It's a significant part in the movie, but you don't have that many scenes to establish the character. What's, um, you know, so your character in this movie is really essential, and what is your approach to coming onto the set um, and being with all these people who have had so much more bonding time and so much more time to establish their characters? And Well, how do you approach that? Yeah. I think what was wonderful is that Stefan first, uh, we had a long lunch, right? <clears throat> so we had the audition, uh, got the part months later. Uh, and then he wanted to meet with me before I met the kids. So it took, you know, my, my daughter, my son, and, and uh, Jonathan, my nephew. Um, and what was wonderful was that I think Stefan and I immediately clicked. Like, we got it. And I told him, and I meant it, that when I read the script, I wanted the movie made more than I wanted to be in it, if that makes sense. So <clears throat> I was going to take whatever part sort of came to me. But when I read it, I thought it was just so, I have two girls. So for me, the idea of a black girl who was a scientist um, who was interested in science and her best friend um, in Brooklyn, and I live in Brooklyn. I mean, there were so many things I related to about this script. And I'm from Jamaica, so 
just Ooh. across the board. <laughs> across the board, there were so many things about it that felt very familiar to me. Um, I wasn't supposed to be an actor, I was supposed to be a doctor. So I related to Ed in character just on so many levels. Um, and I just love the idea, and also I love that too, which is so, I just love the idea that it was being made, that it was being made with these people by this person in Brooklyn. And I didn't care that I had two scenes where I barely spoke and cried most of the time. Like, I didn't, you know what I mean? I, to me, that wasn't significant. I just, I think the film is really beautiful and sweet, and I just, I'm happy that I was a part of it. Um, and I'm always happy to, you know, trot myself out and sit on a panel, even though I, I'm sure you guys would prefer to see Ed and Dante, but here I am. Because I'm, I just I just love the film that much that I'm, I'm willing to, you know, give as much as I can towards it. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. I enjoy your work so much. Um, what, so talk, yeah, talk about the, the your young actress in Mr. Wheat and um, and her BFF. Oh, the, um, Ed and Dante, I knew them since I was 15. Um, you know, they were also in the short film. Um, Are they from out here in LA? Or oh, no, they're because, from Brooklyn. Okay. I only can <laughs> do a Brooklyn movie, you need to cast Brooklyn actors. And they're um, also, they know each other. They know each other since birth. They've been best friends. So they really are best friends. Yeah, best friends in real life. Um, and and right now, did you find them through like a casting director or? Yes, yes. I had um, went to Coleman, who is the daughter of Kim Coleman. Um, Kim Coleman did uh, a lot of spice movies. Um, She was like she was uh, a classmate of mine at NYU, and you know she was gracious enough to work for free for me, and she knew you know um, she knew the mother of Evan and. And you know they know they you know they love acting and she showed me a picture of them and I was like oh my god you know who are these, these cats bringing in you know um, audition them and the first audition you know I wanted them right away because they, the chemistry was just like phenomenal and um, when I failed at trying to make the first film you know Ed and and Dante they understood and said well, you know be here when you're ready and, and I, I appreciate it. Um, and I had to, you know, you know, Spike and I, once we got, you know, green lit from Netflix, we knew exactly who we want. So we, you know, come on, come on, come on. We don't want anybody else, um, you know, to not be in film. Just to, uh, they're fantastic and they have great chemistry. I have this theory that the Best Friends movie has replaced the romance. Like in these times, the best friend movie has kind of replaced that. Even now, it kind of it kind of feels like ah, oh, having a best friend feels almost more important than um, than having a partner in some ways. Like, I don't know. Movies have I think really tried to cultivate the idea of of different kinds of love that people have for each other, and the best friend one just melts my heart so much. I love it. And I, I wanted to, to think about back off of that. I want to make a movie wow, where we don't. You know, we, every time we see a, a male and female lead, we just automatically talk about love. And it's like, I want to tell the young audience who's watching this movie that it's okay to have an opposite sex as a best friend. You know, there's never, you don't have to always try to, you know, fuck them. You know, you know, you can, you can always just be friends. My best friend is Amanda, he's gay. <laughs> I don't think it counts. Um, so talk, talk a little bit about Spike Lee. He was, he was your mentor in school and, and um, sort of a mentor on this film too. Was he producer? Yes. Okay. Yeah. No, he was um, Spike. I met him at, at uh, the greatest college in the United States of America, Morehouse College, Atlanta, Georgia. Um, and right next door is a even better college called Spelman College. Um, you know, amazing HBCU. And uh, you know, I met him there, and when I got to NYU, he was a professor at NYU. And I asked them, you know, can I, can, can, you, can you be my mentor? And they said yes. And he became, ever since then, he cussed me out for making mistakes. Didn't you, I'm sorry, didn't, I feel like you're not being more surprised. Did you stalk him? Did you like, <laughs> what? Um, no, I never you stalked him. him. I really? <laughs> like the story I heard was like, you said, okay, you okay, did. okay, okay. I, I actually, did. <laughs> I did. Um, I had to ask him three times for an internship. 
Yeah, yeah. Like the first time I asked them for internship, so yeah, send me um, send, you know, send me a resume, here's my email, have her shit for him. Next time